Tonight, Matthew, I'm gonna be Cher. <laughs> Chris here, Kevin Connors, and welcome back to another exciting FN2 video. Oh, oh, that, X. Exciting one today, guys, for me. Um, Danny at Dino Days has hooked me up because he is just. I'm good at it. I'm good at it. He's, uh, Danny, you're just incredible, mate. Danny and Rich at Dino Days, thank you so much for all your hard work and effort you do to sponsor the channel. It's amazing. And I uh, was discussing with Danny for a while about which one to go for. <laughs> this. And so. Danny kindly sponsored the channel and sent me the Jap Speed 4 to 1 manifold. Boom! Don't you look beautiful? I was modelling it for you. You were, yeah. Look at that. This is all part of the mapping, mapping process, guys. This is all part of the mapping process. And um, <laughs> yeah, I was fortunate enough to have a half day at work yesterday. So I come down and met Ben down here yesterday at 12 o'clock and we started taking out the old one. And I would highly recommend any of you guys that want this on your car, just take it to Danny and get him to do it at Dino Days. Yeah. Or a garage, local, whatever. It's a bastard. It is an Without absolute a wrap. nightmare. It took us about, what, four or five hours? To get the old one off. To get the old one off. Um, we'll tell you what we did. We'll try and show you where the bolts and that are. Yeah. But anyone that does YouTube knows that when you've got something big like this to do, filming and doing it, which one get on with it? It would have taken us eight hours. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So we'll show you the process of putting it on. But we haven't shown you the process of putting it off. But putting it off, taking, taking it, off. it off. But we will explain how we got it off. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to show my. And plus, we wanted to do it this way around in case I encountered any issues. Mm. And oh, I keep going to take it away. We keep speaking. Just slow down, mate. Yeah. I'll just slow do down. a little. And cinematic. we did. Well, I encountered a problem. Um, Oh, yeah, you idiot. Yeah, I stupidly... You probably saw on the forums. Yeah, I stupidly gung-hoed it, wanted to get on with it, get the job done, and just had a brain fart, basically. And I undone the lambda sensor before I unplugged it. So the wires pulled out. Consequently, he twisted it around to undo it and pulled the bloody wire So that's out. a little bit of an issue today, but luckily I've got an, a best mate who's an electrician. Yeah, he's coming down later. Not an audio electrician. He's an electrician! <laughs> So, so we're basically just going to bypass the clip, yeah. put some like bullet crimps on it so that it can still be removable. If you need to change it, we'll just have to put another bullet crimp, bullet crimp on the end of the new one. Hoping we haven't damaged this one. Let's have a look at that. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh my God. This is my moment. This is my moment. And Martin McCutcheon, that this was, wasn't it? Perfect. If you're watching this, Martin, yeah. I'd love to bang you. Wow. I wouldn't really. What's um, the chances of her watching this fucking shit? Leave her edit that out because Katie will watch that. Um, oh, well, in. Uh, so I think it's time. This is going to be a very short one, but let's cue some cinematics. And after looking on a few forums and stuff, Ooh. I think that because um, people always say, "Do I go Jap Speed? Do I go Piper? Do I go Tegua?" Mm. But apparently, from what I can gather, it's pretty much Tegua and these are exactly the same. Kind of, but um, exactly the same. It's just built by different people. Yeah, and just the way they're. I've actually, heard that the Tegua ones as well. I've heard that the Tegua exhaust systems have been failing a lot. Known for faults, yeah. And yeah. them not doing anything to sort them out. Because mm. Dan Lawrence had it, didn't he? Tegua, sort it out. Sort it out, Tegua. 
So, so yeah. this is well, it's just a nightmare, isn't it? So as you can see, this yeah. is heat shields. That, that's probably the worst bit. There's Look the at this contraption. That's the original Manny. Look at that, actually. It looks like it reminds me. It reminds me of it's like someone off a Cortina. It reminds me a bit of one of those aliens from The Simpsons. Where they're running those little yeah. puzzle things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shut up. So it reminds me of. What film is this for? I'm gonna get shit all over my face up. And then, after that, <laughs> this happens. <laughs> what film's that from? Aliens. Yeah, but it's like a face saga. It does. Have I got shit all over my face now? No. At first I thought you were just doing some really weird porno. Or, it could be, Matey Boy from Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> Technical man. Was it like an accordion thing? What? It's like an accordion. Accordion? Well, yeah. I am. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell, let's get on with it. Yeah, shit chatting, Ben. So that's that, right. Wipers off, scuttle panel off. Yeah. Again. This here. Yeah. There. there. Yeah, that's that. You've got to remove that's that. That's all up underneath there. That's all got to come out. Which is nice that way, I think, actually. Go like that. And you've got one, two, three bolts that are all back here. Again, all very not accessible. Hey, but man. to be fair, we actually managed to undo a majority of these from the top, didn't we? Yeah, the bottom, obviously, well, you can see it, I'll show you on the manifold. Yeah, we undone a lot of them from the top. So that was quite We've handy. Three bolts and two nuts. So the, that one and that one, no, it was that one and that one you can get from underneath. Yeah. That one, that one, and that one you, you can actually from get from the top. But you're done with a breaker bar, isn't it? Mm. And then that's the heat shield. Yeah. It goes down there, and there's another one on that side for the heat shield. There's another one on that side for the heat shield. There's another one there, there for the, the heat, heat shield. shield. That one snapped. <laughs> <laughs> the heat shields are the worst bit. Yeah. And just destroying your knuckles. Yeah, they really do. You need real dainty hands to get around the back. So yeah, that's why we didn't film it. A, we wanted to crack on with it, and two, there was a lot of swearing. I was throwing wobblies all over the place yesterday because yeah, yeah. things. But yeah, this is what I've done to me sensor. Look, look at that, look, stupid boy. So Chris's top tip of the day is: make sure you fucking undo it from the clip before you gun it off. Yeah, there's two as well, isn't there? So yeah, there's two cats, pre-cat and post-cat. There's your cat. Oh my god, it And time. yeah, that's the ones that have come out. They go into that there. So, luckily, we're going to get that sorted today. There's there the she gold. Is. There's, There's the gold that everyone steals. The bar of gold. There it is. Well, hopefully, that is being sold, and that is going to pay for my inlet money from you. Is it platinum they've got in them? I have no fucking idea. That's why they're so worth so much money, because they strip them, melt them down, and then you get like platinum out of them. Yeah, you should just like do that. that for a living. Yeah, we should. But this, um, if I quickly just go under the car. Yeah, stupid. No. Right. That is the current heat shield that we've taken off. But yeah, look, um, this is literally how much space we've got to work under it. I think we're going to have to take the sort of frame out again. And that's where she goes back to over there. But yeah, not much room at all, guys. So I would say don't do this yourself on the do don't do it yourself on the driveway. It's a fucking yeah, nightmare. But yeah, there's the back of the engine there. That's your main man, he's got to go up. So, but we've got this to try and get it in and up over this here. Oh, Gerald, you then. So, we're going to have a go at it. And oh, look, very shiny on camera there. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We're going to give it a go. Well, we've got no fucking choice now. We've got to get it in. <laughs> so, We'll check back in in a bit. Fuck hey. I me, mean, your head's fat, isn't it? That's way too big for me. Rude. Uh -huh. Right, guys. As I'll make Rob's double table, right, guys. Um, He's got my fucking hat on, look. <coughs> well, mine's over there. I feel naked without it. <coughs> um, yeah, trying to get it up through. Not happening. Not happening. Unless you want to drop all the subframe down, which we don't want to do. We though. haven't figured out whether this works the way we're going to do it, though. It will. Okay, so what we've done is, go on, take, talk us through. What we've done is, take that shitty plastic off. Ben come up with the idea, <coughs> we'll just take the lock cover off. 
Well, I thought if you take the <coughs> cover off, look how much room you now got there. So I'm hoping we can just slide it straight down there. Cause look, you see how deep the back of the rocker cover is? It's like, that's got to be six inches we've gained. Yeah. Which is never a bad thing. Yeah. So if this works, <clears throat> it will obviously stay in the video. If it doesn't work, you'll cut it out. I won't, I'll leave it in. <laughs> yeah, he does actually, all the mistakes here. I'm hoping that, yeah, we can slot, because it's got to go down there, through, see the floor there, it's basically got to go down, and band there. up through there, so we've gained loads of room. There's no chance of doing it with it on. No and chance. it's not that bit, it's actually not that big. So in theory, it should, it go. should work. So but on a positive note, look how nice and clean my engine is. I don't think this rocker's ever been off. I don't think so. Look how clean she is in the rocker cover itself. <laughs> A little bit of lobe wear. No, it is very clean, mate. Look at that. No, look at that. Very nice. It's probably about 12 times more expensive than, I don't know why I come up with 12, but that's a lot more expensive than that. I totally did the exact mathematics. Mathematics. Mathematics, they call me Carol Vorderman. <laughs> Got the tits for it. Fuck off, mate. Why are you being that for? <laughs> why are you being that for? This it's is my- that, that. It does, doesn't it? That's a Christmas present off of my Rachel. That Verstappen, the man Verstappen. Yep. He's doing very well in the F1. He the is. He's got the old flag up there as well. Yeah, yeah. The old Red Bull racing. I'm glad yeah. he's knocking fucking Hamilton off his perch. Yeah, me too. I'm not glad, but it's, it's nice to see him actually racing. Yeah. Although they, anyway. need, they need to lighten up on the rules a bit there, mate. He says that when we do F1 well, on, online. Robin's racing, isn't it, boys? Robin's racing. Well, apparently not when he, I rub against him. You can't have a little bit of contact in racing, in what fun? Sexual way. What fun is that? Yeah. Hey? So we're going to try and get it down and then we'll come back to you. Although we are in stiff competition at the minute, aren't we? Very. I'm fourth in the league. I'm sixth. This is sixth. Old ads is top by like two points. <clears throat> yeah, we're in... God, mate, I need to shave my head, mate. You've actually met, you match a little bit on the F1. Oh, they're amazing. Whenever they're we used to play, a, Ben used to boss me all they the time. They are a world above us. But, yeah. Oh, poor old Robster. And, and the new game's out as well next mm. Friday. I saw the trailer for that. The Which, about. Yeah, it's amazing, mate. So if any of you subscribers wish to join that, because I'm Ooh, sure we'll PS4. start another league, but we will put it out on our Instagram and our Facebook when we're going to set up a new one. Yeah, nice. If you want to join us, then yeah, come on. Try and slot that down that, got that hole now, then. Chris is going to go underneath. Oh, yeah. And then hopefully... Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can get it in. We'll see. Right, update. We're in, and it worked. So taking off the rocker cover enabled us to get it down and over. The only thing we did have to take off was these real long threaded bolts there, which hold in the like the oh, yeah. camshaft clamp thingies that go yeah. into the block. We had to take them two off just to get enough clearance to get down there. And as you can see. She is on, she's not bolted up yet. We've got the gasket on. We've got two bolts in there. There's five all together. We've got two in at the moment just to hold it in place. But even like my advice would be, even with that off, it gives you so much more room to get to all the bolts on the manifold itself. Um, so you get two nuts at the top and the others are it's fucking are two, nuts bolts. On the, two nuts on the channel. <laughs> and the only heat shield that you can really put back on is this one because it actually bolts to the car and not to the old manifold itself like we showed you on here. So that, that, that and that, and that and that are not on the new one, so you can't put any of this back on. But there's loads more clearance on that one anyway, but you can still put that one on, which I think we'll try and do. But yeah, taking that off, it, just, it made life so much easier. Well, we wouldn't have done it, I don't think. No. Without dropping all the subframe. No, and you don't want to be doing that. All and the steering racks in there and the drive shaft. And to be fair, even with that rocker off as well, it was still bloody. It was very tight. Oh, I also took, there's two bolts there. I don't know if you can see them on the, uh, what's that? That's a brake reservoir, isn't it? Yeah. I took them two bolts off just so we could move this just enough out the way there to get it coming at an angle here. Wait, did you put these back in? And go down, yeah. Oh, yeah, we took those two off. They were there to come off as well. Uh, and you can get just enough bend on that like that out of the way, which I, I recommend taking that off when you're doing a your rocker cover. Anyway, it's not so much when you're taking the rocker cover off. Putting it back but on. But if you've got a freshly painted one, you always catch that. So you can just move it out of the way enough to slide it back on. And yeah, we're on. So uh, we'll bolt it all down, I think, now, and then try and get that other heat shield in. And then it's just a case of 
It didn't come with a gasket for the exhaust end, did it? No. But we do have some exhaust paste. But it, and the exhaust paste does smell for a little bit before it goes off. Yeah, I found I will, that on mine. I'll put it on mine. I will source another gasket when it Yeah, I would. But um, for well, now. I don't think it did come with anyway. Nah, the bag's all there, mate. But I used, on my exhaust, I just used paste and it was absolutely fine. It just smells for a little bit. That's all. That's what we've got there. It's brand new. Uh, resist vibration, permanent seal, guaranteed. Problem solved. Says. So it's very good anyway. It is excellent fit. We'll show you all that. So we're going to try and get that heat shield back on before we properly bolt it down. I think so. We've got a little bit of wiggle room. Yeah, I've, I've, the hanger's off the car, and I've oh, okay. the hanger onto the uh, oh, downpipe. And then, so we'll try and bolt that on. <coughs> and then we'll check in a bit. But that, that that all went rather all right, didn't it? An hour. hour, yeah. So it's for two people a, a long day, I would say, to do this on a driveway. Be even worse if you're outside. Yeah. In the fucking elements or on a drive, but unless you've got an array of sockets and rattle guns, yeah. and like we're fortunate to have, yeah. don't attempt it yourself because it's a pain in the ass. Obviously, because it's because in this exhaust manifold, it's hot, it's cold, it's hot, it's cold, which means the metal expands and contracts constantly. Um, but a, another tip is obviously when you're trying to get out of stubborn bolt, is don't just try and gun it off all the way, gun it in a little bit as well. So so. It kind of frees itself, do you know what I mean? And plenty of penetrating oil. Loads of penetrating fluid. So we're going to try and get that heat shield back on, which shouldn't be too bad. It's just three bolts, three nuts, and then uh, we'll check back in. So. I've been shat on by a bird. Chris is underneath putting some exhaust paste on the it's joint. Fucking, it just runs off. And, uh, <laughs> that's like Gerald and Geraldine have been having a party under there, or oh, some yeah. dude. Look all over your head. Yeah, that's horrendous. It doesn't come with a... <laughs> oh, I say. It doesn't come with hardware for the bit that bolts to the exhaust system. But luckily we did have some. That's the Mr. Meldrum and this pot of nuts and bolts they give us. Thank you, Kevin. Look at that. It's a thing of beauty. What, me? The covered in shit. I know. It's like you've got a spunk all over you. <laughs> So we're nearly done. We're, we're having issues with lining up one bolt onto the block, onto the manifold. All the others are in and threading in absolutely lovely. But there's one that is just doing up a couple of threads and then going really, really tight. And it's so poking out so much that you can't get a bloody spanner or anything to tighten it up. So we're hoping by lining all this up and connecting to the rest of it and putting it on the hangers, it'll make it sit better and then we'll be able to get it in, hopefully. But as always, it's being a sod. Right then, people, we feel none of that. A lot of faffing around. A man. lot of faffing. A um, lot of faffing. As we explained before, I can't even remember what we recorded, mate. It was hours ago. Taking the rocker cover off and going in from above. Yeah. Which I'm pretty sure I showed you was a lot easier. And then it's just literally a case of bolting it back together. And it was a bit of a sod to line up. Yeah. A couple of the bolts on yeah, the, the actual manifold. Yeah, the bolt wouldn't quite line up. Um, but we got it anyway. And luckily we had another bolt here with a slightly yeah. smaller washer on it, so it managed to mm. fit. And it's pinged up a... EML light. An EML light, actually. which we expected. We've managed to fix, we think, fix the, the sensor, sensor that was broken. I crimped it all back together and we managed to put the pins back in the plug. So three of the cables are actually plugged in and one of them is just on like a spade crimp connector. Yeah. So that's good because that saves you a couple hundred quid. Definitely. For now, anyway, and we'll see. But I'm assuming they just, when it goes to get mapped, they map out the lights they map and it stuff out. anyway, don't yeah. they? Yeah, exactly. So uh, I think we need to start it up. We've already started it up and let it get warm. Oh my God. It <laughs> sounds amazing. Like, it sounds proper race car. Yeah. And I don't know whether it's this placebo effect that we always bang on about, but it seems to get to the limiter really fast. Does. Like I put my foot on it and I was just trying to blip it, but I was at the limit, like bang, bang, yeah. bang. Yeah. And then uh, so I think you should just turn it on, Chrissy. Let's do it. Look at the state of that. It's disgusting. Absolutely. One more week to get a good clean. <laughs> Does it beep once when that engine management light comes on? Yeah, it's just and then it stops. So yeah, it's just pinned on there now. So yeah, you're gonna get 
for that, obviously. But you can get rid of that by pressing the information button. But ah, Pink Floyd, comfortably numb. But you're going to get that light and you're going to get the orange water light up there, obviously, until you get it mapped. But you don't want to know about all that crap. It's pretty obvious that's going to happen. Listen to this. It feels like it gets up there really fast. It seems to me that it gets up there a lot quicker. But um, we haven't really got time to take it for a drive in that, but oh. we will. Oh. You can smell it, can't you? It's not that bad. It's not as bad as like the EP3s. They do, like, yeah. Real bad stink. But, but it's not all obviously. It's not running. Like when that's mapped in. It's mapped in, yeah. I think when you drive home, you're going to feel a big difference. I probably will, yeah. It seems more responsive, I think, just on blipping the throttle. But we shall see. But the next stage is obviously uh, inlet. Get the inlet manifold on, and then we're ready to come up and see Nathaniel oh. at some point. That was a stressful one, wasn't it? Very stressful. But and I would say anyone up that's up near Danny at Dino Days, just go take it over and get it fitted. I would, unless you've got a couple of days days spare and you kind of know what you're doing. It's just re it's not a hard job. It's literally undoing bolts and bolting something back yeah. on again. But, but when you're under when you're under a car, yeah, if you've got you a ramp, stood up on a ramp, it's a bit easier. Of course it is. Um, but yeah. But coming in from the top. 100% was the way to go for us anyway. Yeah, yeah, we found it. That's just because otherwise it looked like you have to drop all the subframe out and that. But just taking the rock cover off, you, it was a bit tight. We managed to just jimmy it down and it kind just of started in quite nice, didn't just it? Just enough, yeah. But I, I, I'm well happy with that, mate. I think it oh, sounds well, amazing. I, 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 well, as usual, I'm lost for words for Danny. He's it's just a legend. Danny and Richard, I should say. I can't wait to see the difference in it being mapped because obviously yeah. you've got the engine on now, you've got a Look, I'm pretty sure we had a good luck underneath the wide. Well, I, I don't know if you did that your exhaust system. So we're trying to figure out what it is, but I think it's a custom exhaust. It's got to yeah, be because it's, yeah. it's it's really quite big as well. Yeah, it's not. I don't think it's quite a three inch, but maybe it's a two seven two inch seven five maybe something like that. But it's it's close. So with that, the jap speed manifold, the engine, and the skunk two. Yeah, manifold, so should make some pretty good games. I reckon you could. Yeah, well, what what did mine make on the dyno? Uh, two oh two. Standard. With that mapped, yeah, I'd be looking, to, hoping to see like two thirty something. Yeah, because like that one didn't have any. I well, I don't think it did, did it? it didn't, have didn't, have an or... didn't have an uh, induction or anything. I don't think it had an induction. Oh, did it? But it didn't have no money or I inlet think or anything. It might have been standard exhaust. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, I reckon it was. It will, it will make some quite good power, some good gains, and more so, the mid range will be amazing. Yeah, like it will. It will feel like a totally different car. car. Well, everyone says that. That it is literally how they should have been. Yes. You know the Mugen 200 or whatever they call, whatever they call it. That I think has got something like 35 brake more, and it's got a different induction kit. It's got different yeah. manifolds on it and stuff like that. That to me is how they should have come out. Yeah, totally. To, yeah. to be a bit quicker than the EPs. Yeah. But well, happy mate. It's a pig oh, of a job, mate. but um, we got it done as always. We got there in the end. Massive thanks to Ben because he was been. And Mark, Mark helped out. Mark, in between, yeah. in between taxi jobs, he popped in to manage to get a couple of bolts in for us because it's you wouldn't be able to do it on your own. No chance. Not a chance in no hell. Chance. I would have taken a sledgehammer to it already by now. I think it's been one. It was Chris was getting very very stressed, but yeah, all we got to say is a huge thank you to Danny and all the lads over at Dino Days Danny, because man. they they sent that to us. For absolutely nothing. It's fantastic, mate. So please, Thank if you're looking so to much. get one, I'll put a direct link to it to <laughs> the Ina Days' website. Get it through them. And they'll give you a very good deal, obviously. Yeah. And then you can go and get it mapped up there as well, which of is course. what we're going to do. But uh, it's a long way for us. Isn't yeah. It? This is this is definitely before mapping. You, if you're going to fit that, you've got to get it mapped. You can't just yeah, leave it. Yeah, hundred percent. Can't just put that's that on and leave it. It's the whole reason for doing it, isn't it? It, it certainly is. So there we ruddy bloody go. One more week to go, and we'll be at a show. We will. We should. Yes. <coughs> Hopefully, my car will be drivable because it's not at the minute. Yeah, it's like a block of wood at the minute on the back. That stiff in the rear suspension up, so it didn't move just to try and take it for a wheel alignment, which they couldn't bloody do. <laughs> 
So I'm going to have to run it without a wheel alignment and raise it up a bit. Anyway, whatever, I'm going to do that off camera and whenever in the week at some point. So yeah, that's it. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys. We love you all. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the MX-5 reveal. That's very exciting. Jesus Christ. And stop. don't forget to go give Toxic Knobs a follow, Carb My Ride, Tactical Racing, everybody that we always talk about, Fiberworks, all the usuals. Discount codes. Yeah, don't forget your discount codes. Oh, knack, mate, no, no. Like, don't forget your Facebook is here and your oh, Instagram yeah. is about up here somewhere. Lovely, jubbly. And it's actually boiling in here now. I know, it's, it was horrible. It's peeing down my rain and now it's bloody lovely and we're just about really to awesome. go home. So on that note, we love you all. And we shall see, we'll you, see you on, on the, the next video. video. Peace, Peace out. out. Bye bye. Bye.